Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I am going to be getting ready with you where I'm going to be creating this look here. And also I will be answering some questions that you guys gave me um, over on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to be included in these types of videos, my handle is on the screen and in the description box. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I do a lot of makeup and panning content. This is the first Q&A that I have ever done. So if you're into makeup, panning, possibly more Q&As, go ahead and hit that to subscribe button and let's get into the makeup. Okay, let's get into it. I am slightly nervous uh, because I'm not really, I feel like I'm not very good at answering questions, especially on the spot. Um, and I didn't really prepare for the, this video. So I'm just gonna use a bunch of my Project Pan items on my face. I'm recording this after work. I didn't do like any makeup today. I posted a picture on my Instagram. Fun fact, about 99% of the time I post pictures on my Instagram, it's of that same day's look. Like I'll take the picture and then 10 minutes later I'll post it. So I have pretty, it's pretty live content. And I'm gonna forget to tell you what items I'm using, but Hopefully I'll like show you in the frame, but all that to say, I'm not going to be doing some steps that I normally would if I was, um, doing my makeup like in the morning for the whole, for the day. But this primer, I think it's hydrating. I'm not really sure. I'm not a super big fan of it, but anyway for foundation before i get into the questions i'm going to be combining my maybelline superstay and my covergirl healthy elixir that i have depotted into this old cleansing balm tin hopefully you can't hear my husband in the background he is on a zoom call right now so hopefully you can't hear him but the first question was, okay, so let me start again. When I hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I shared that with my Instagram and Live and Royal Makeup suggested that I do a Q&A. And I thought that was really awesome that, um, that she was curious and that maybe other people would be curious to know about my life. I don't know. Um, I never really planned on doing a Q&A or anything like that, but I thought it was really kind of her to suggest that. I'm realizing I didn't bring a mirror, <laughs> but so, so she, uh, she asked a few questions and then um, I had a few other questions. I, I should have asked people if they were okay with me sharing their name or like their channel. Um, but anyway, the first question is from Sonia, who is makeup obsessed here on YouTube and on Instagram. And her question was if I could go on holiday, um, if I could go anywhere on holiday, where would I go? And then she said, P.S. I love your channel. P.S. I love your channel, Sonia. If I could go on holiday anywhere, I think I would go to Australia. I've always wanted to go to Australia. And that stems back to a childhood dream of mine to be a marine biologist. Um, I've always been super into marine life and I was like, I just really wanted to visit the Great Barrier Reef. So that's like my generic answer whenever people ask me where I would want to go. 
Um, Europe has always been on my list. I have been to Prague. I'm going to combine these two concealers. I've been to Prague and I've been to Poland. Um, those were on like a school trip actually in high school. So I would love to explore some more European countries. Yeah, I have, I mean, I have a lot of places that I feel like would be fun to visit, but traveling is expensive and I'm the kind of person that if I, if it's not happening to me, I don't really think about it. So if we did have the funds to go traveling, that's when I would think about it a little more seriously, but, um, yeah, like Rome, Italy, I don't know, just all the places really. My stepson really wants to go to Japan, uh, Japan, New York. He just, he really wants to travel. So I hope that we can do that for him. Um, but it's not anytime soon, unfortunately. Okay, the next few questions are from Livin' Royal. Um, I know she used to be on YouTube. I haven't seen her post in a while, but um, she is, I think, more active on Instagram. I feel like I made that concealer way too light, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, she asked if I have any pet peeves. I feel like that's a pretty common question. I'm gonna use my Pearl Beauty Real Depth Contour. And honestly, I find myself to be a pretty patient and understanding person. Um, not, I'm not just saying that, but I'm a type nine Enneagram, if that means anything to you. <laughs> I'm the peacemaker. Um, so I don't really let a lot of things bother me enough to like be a pet peeve, but of course like the generic ones, why am I doing this with a sponge? I always use my It Cosmetics brush for this product. Anyway, um, I have some generic ones like slow drivers in the fast lane. <laughs> um, I don't speed, but... I go the speed limit and I will, you know, speed to go around slow people. But anyway, um, basically anything that is inconsiderate to other people, because I, I kind of pride myself into being like a super considerate person. And I think that's just like the people pleaser in me. But yeah, pet peeves. I'm trying to think of one about my husband because I think it would be funny. Ah, but like I said, I'm just not good at on the spot um, answering questions. I should have thought about this one before. Just using the same brush as I did for the contour. This looks intense, but once I put, like, my setting powder over it, it kind of calms down, so I'm okay being a little heavy-handed with this blush. Well, I have, like, no coverage down here. I'm really not used to getting ready in front of the camera, so, like, the lighting is way different. I'm using this teeny tiny mirror. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm going to set my face with my Cody Airspun. I feel like I'm flying through these questions. Probably not. Um, the next one is brand or influencer that I will not support. Juicy. I take about that much of this powder. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender just to tap out the creases. All right, so to be honest... I do not pay that much attention 
to brand ownership or even like influencer drama. I just don't care to even like know about it. Um, but if I hear things like from you guys or like on Instagram, I will definitely let that like affect my view if I find that information to be legit and true. So like ABH definitely uh not comfortable purchasing from her anymore. Um Juvia's place I decluttered an eyeshadow palette that I had of theirs that I never touched. And honestly, I just don't really care about any of their products. I, you know, I would love to support a black owned brand. So, you know, maybe in the future, but right now I don't really have anything on my list. Um, I don't know, just like, I'm on a no buy anyway, so I don't really, I'm not buying anything. So I'm not really paying attention. I, I'm just not one of those. Again, peacemaker. I don't, I don't even think about conflict. <laughs> Um, so like thinking about drama or brands or influencers that cause conflict, like it's just not on my radar. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that doesn't really offend anybody. But I'm going to go in with my Nabla bronzer. The next question is if I have any pets. And unfortunately, I do not. Um, I grew up in a zoo. <laughs> I, I would always say that to people. But I grew up with at least two dogs and at least two cats at a time. We would also always have like hamsters, uh, guinea pigs. We had a chinchilla once. We had turtles. Um fish, even like walking stick bugs. Um, the list goes on and on. I think the only pet I never had was like a lizard. We even had like rats. Um, yeah, just we were, my parents were very kind to let us have a lot of pets. And it was like so much responsibility. But um, yeah, currently my husband and I do not have any pets. We are dog lovers. We would absolutely love a dog or five, <laughs> um, but we're just, we're not home enough. We both have very flexible jobs, meaning we don't know when we're gonna be home. Some nights I work till 9 p.m. Um, and some nights, you know, he's not home till like six, but he leaves super early in the morning and like, it just would not be responsible of us to get a dog right now, which makes me really sad because I love dogs. I think they are such a gift. I'm going with my Bare Minerals blush. Um, but I take any chance that I get to pet a dog. My sister has dogs. Any of my friends that have dogs, you will find me attached to that dog. <laughs> um, I actually really love cats as well. And I feel like I'm one of the people that kind of understand cats. My husband hates cats. So that's been an issue. <laughs> he just won't. He just he won't even consider a cat. Uh, luckily, my parents just got a cat. Henry, he is the cutest kitten ever. He's like eight months now, I think. Six or eight months. But so I get my kitten fix uh, with him. But yeah, uh, like I said, I've had a lot of animals growing up, but I currently don't have any pets. I'm going with my elf faked highlighter. Uh, the next question is, will you do content creator confessions tag? 
and I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> um, I don't really watch tag videos unless like one of my fellow panner fellow panners does one. I will like make a point to watch it to support them. But it's not really my jam. Because like I said, I don't really, I'm not good at answering questions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take my Tartlet Tees and I'm going to put these two light shades kind of all over. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing any tags, I mean, I could try. But it's not something that I would like actively do on my own. I didn't even like, I don't even know what types of questions are on that tag. I'm gonna go all over my lid with my Tarte Tartist Shakedown. So pretty. Oh, this has a little teeny mirror. That's so cute. Okay. Favorite YouTube to watch. Now, she didn't specify um, if, like, it was, like, a YouTube genre or, like, favorite YouTuber. So, I'm going to go with genre. Um... When I first started watching YouTube, it was like back in 2014, 20, it was like so long ago and I was really into watching beauty gurus like Jaclyn Hill, Shan XO, Casey Holmes, um, that Taylor who's now Taylor Wynn, those ladies. And I've definitely seen a shift since I discovered the panning community. I actually don't really watch the same videos anymore. Um, I watch a lot of smaller creators panning videos and like curated collections, which I'm trying to curate my own. So it's just inspirational, but I still do watch like Allie Glines. I still watch some of Taylor Wynn's videos, Jessica Braun. Um, Kelly Gooch, and then, if, like I said, all the panning people. But I also really love watching like home DIY videos, um, home organization videos, decluttering your home. I watch a lot of like food videos. I just really love YouTube, and I actually prefer YouTube over TV. I don't really watch sitcoms or anything like that. If I do watch TV, it's when my husband is home and he has the remote. So we like to watch The Office together and we like to watch like British Bake Off. Um, currently we're into like the Halloween baking championship. We just really like cooking and baking shows. I'm going to go in with my bi-coastal shade in Making Moms, this shade right here. I feel like it will go with my shirt. But yeah, back to the question, YouTube. Um, at one point I was into like thrifting clothing and then upcycling them, doing like DIY sewing projects. I have, I have a sewing machine that I do not use um, enough. I feel like that did nothing. I'm kind of disappointed in a lot of the shimmers that I'm panning to be honest, but maybe it's just because it's on top of this like taupe, taupey shade. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my Tartlet Tees and add some depth with one of these or both of these, I don't know. But yeah, that's the kind of YouTube I like to watch. 
what kind of YouTube do you guys like to watch? I'm curious. Oh, I actually really like budget with me videos. <laughs> um, and plan with me videos like bullet journaling. I attempt to bullet journal every year and I fall off the wagon. So don't expect me <laughs> to like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, if that happens, I take my powder brush, nothing on it, and I just kind of buff it out. I guess I'm going for a smoky under a lot. It'll all come together. But yes, um, that's the kind of YouTube I like to watch. Mm-hmm. What should I do for my inner corner? I'm just gonna go in with my elf on my pinky. I don't even know if you can like see. Oh, my chest is always so blotchy, you guys. It's funny how we talk bad about ourselves, but like if I heard one of you say that about yourself I'd be like no it's not it's beautiful like don't it's fine <laughs> anyway uh let's do brows I'm actually gonna mix I've discovered something my it cosmetics bronzer that I'm panning here's a spoiler from my graveyard um I use it in my brows but it's super warm so I've actually been taking this dark shade out of this palette that I'm panning this blush in and I mix them because this is like a super cool tone color and this is a super uh, warm tone color so I feel like it works okay uh next question is plans for the future and that's really vague I'm sure she like ran out of room in her question box but um plans for the future of my channel is just to continue trying to curate my makeup collection and you know to do projects um pan projects I do think I'm going to limit myself to the amount of like prompt based projects next year because even though I do keep track of my items and my projects in Google Sheets, and I find that super helpful to keep track of my uses and also like my progress on an item because I'm using so many things now that I use it to help me prioritize what items I want to use, like say in this video. You know, I looked and I was like, oh, this, this item could use a little extra love or like, I'm going to use these products tomorrow, things like that. But I'm finding myself, I don't want to say obsessed, but I'm checking those sheets very frequently, like multiple times a day, which doesn't make sense because I only update it once a day. So next year, I think I'm going to take a step back. Um, What should I do next? Brow pomade. I'm just going to take my Essence Make Me Brow. Next year, I'm going to take a step back. I've already planned out the projects I'm going to participate in. And to be honest, I'm adding another project at the end of this month with the Pandastic Ladies. Uh, but I could not pass it up. But next year, I'm going to limit myself. I'm actually going to be doing a couple projects that I did not get to participate in this year. So I'm really excited. But um, yeah, I think next year it's going to look a little, little different on my channel. Which I'm excited for. Uh, I, I brought my Milani blush out, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't want to just use something for the sake of using it. But what is next? Plans for the future, like in my life. 
uh, plan on sticking with my job, <laughs> which is a question later. Um, and yeah, I, my husband and I are trying to get pregnant, but we've been trying for a while. So I'm just going to leave that up to God because he knows, he knows when we're ready and if we will ever be ready. I'm going to spray my face. So hopefully have more kids. I do have a stepson. He's 13. Um, and honestly, that's a really big age gap. And I feel content with him being our only child. But um, my husband and I still would love to have at least one more, I think. Now... I'm going to do mascara. I use my It Superhero Mascara. This is drying up. Honestly, I don't know how much longer it has in it. Um, the next is not a question, but I have had this in the back of my mind ever since Miss D requested it in a comment of a video. She requested an art tour. Um, I've mentioned, I feel like a couple times, just randomly, that I am a pretty creative person. Um, and I love art. I love creating art. I love looking at art and appreciating the craftsmanship. Um, I do not have any of my pieces here with me right now, but I'm going to put some on the screen. And the first one is going to be this painting of some oranges <laughs> only because, <clears throat> excuse me, only because, um, this is my most recent piece that I just did for a friend and she absolutely loved it. So I was really happy about that, but this is a, uh, painted with acrylics. I freehand draw all of my paintings, but usually I have a reference photo, um, but I thought that was really beautiful. I actually painted one for myself first and it was really small. It's like a 10 by 10 square. And I posted it on my personal Instagram and my friend saw it and she was like, will you make me one of those? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I made it a little bigger for her. Um, but yeah, that's one. And then here is a watercolor piece that I did quite a few years ago of a sailboat. This has always had my heart ever since I got, I, I did it, but I gave it away. Um, and I regret it ever since I actually donated it to a fundraiser, which was a really great cause. Um, but yeah, I really miss that painting and I wish it was hanging in my house. Um, maybe one day I'll paint it, but for now, I'll just miss it. Um, I don't really know how much art I want to show you, but like this is a piece that I did with oil painting. So I'm kind of showing you like a variety of the things that I painted. And these are magnolias. Fun fact, um, it, when I lived alone in an apartment, I had a bright pink couch from Ikea. So I painted this to go with my couch and I absolutely loved it. I still have this painting, but the blue is a little intense for my more neutral, can you tell, my more neutral color palette in my home. So I might like repaint the background, but magnolias mean a lot to me because at my parents' house where I grew up, they still live. Um, there was a big magnolia tree that I just loved. It just is kind of sentimental to me. So I really love that piece. I don't know, I'll pop up some more stuff <laughs> here. I've always kind of wanted to do like a painting channel, but I never really did. I think I'm a, I'm a little self-conscious about my process because I do a lot of layering. I do a lot of back and forth. I do a lot of pauses. It just takes me a little, little time. And of course, art takes time. Um. But it's hard to film that process. 
I've done some digital work on my iPad. Um, some birds for my mom. Just some different variety. I haven't found my niche, I guess. I really love florals, anything with nature. So maybe that's my niche. Um, but anyway, one last question is what is my nine to five job? And I have briefly talked about this in a couple videos, just like in passing. But I am in the interior design field. Technically, my title is design, interior design specialist. I'm not the principal designer, but I work, I'm her right hand man, basically. Um, and she trusts me with a lot of decisions, which is amazing. I've been doing that for five years and I had no interior design um, experience beforehand. It's kind of one of those situations where it's it's good to know people because I, I knew a lot of people in this company and they were creating this new position and they thought of me, which was very, very flattering. But before that, I did graphic design and of course like painting. I'm just really creative and a lot of those principles carry on to basically any creative field. So I had that experience, but I've, I never research fabric or wallpapers or like tried to put a design board together or like you know light fixtures I it was a totally new world to me and I absolutely love it um my boss even told me like this is a really really good spot for me it could and it's a lot of admin stuff it's um a lot of design stuff we do architectural and interior design so I'm kind of um, in the process from the ground up, we, you know, we're in it all the way through construction, all the way to completion and install of all the pieces. But yeah, I do, it's mostly commercial design. Um, uh, we have done a couple of residential projects, but yeah, mostly commercial. And yeah, I just, it's fun. <laughs> stressful sometimes but it is fun and I do get to travel um you know some of our projects have been in Arizona California Chicago I haven't gone to the Chicago ones yet um it's kind of all over but yeah I'm I'm enjoying it and it's really funny side note um, I, this has been maybe like six months, but I was going through like an old journal that I kept in middle school. And it was one of those that in the front, it had spaces like prompts where it's like, when I grow up, I want to be blank or like blah, 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 blah. And, um, I put that when I want to grow up, I wanted to be an interior designer. And I had completely forgotten about that until I found that journal. So I just think it's funny and amazing where God takes you in life. Anyway, here's my look. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, getting to know me a little better. I hope I wasn't rambly. I really don't know uh, how I am perceived until I watch it later. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and it'll let me know if you want to learn a little bit more about me. And if you are into makeup and panning content, I encourage you to subscribe. So I see you in my next video.